Hello, today I'd like to talk you through lettering. So I've got some rye in this piping consistency. I've got two tubes, a number two and a number one, and some perspex to, to practice on. Now, number two, it needs to be in the same colour as your cake. So if my cake is pink, I need, it needs to be pink. If it's white, it needs to be white. The reason for that is that number two is a base and it's a, it's the same colour as the cake, so if you make a mistake, you can quickly take it off without marking your cake. If I was going to pipe in a, a bright pink or um, a red and I piped straight on the cake, if I made a mistake and took it off, then I, I would leave, a, leave a, a pattern behind. So first of all, it's the number two, the same colour as your cake, and then it's overpiped with the number one, which is smaller, and usually that's a colour. Um, I'm just tilting my table here so you can see a little bit, um, but you need to do your lettering so it's suitable for the occasion. I'm going to start, happy birthday, so you anchor and come down. So, so far it's line work, just come down a little bit. So you anchor, lift and come down. So all it is is curves and lines, and if you remember that. so. A H would become a cross, a, a lowercase, anchor, lift, come round and down. I would then pipe a straight line down to finish the A. The P would come down, up and around to form a P. Anchor and come down round, up and down, and the little one. Okay, happy. Could do something black again, so that's only what you can see. There we go. Now, what, a few things you've got to consider is the spacing. Now you don't want too much of a gap in between your letters, so that you want to, to put them, not touching, but quite close together. Um, and if you can see, my capitals are always above the line, so imagine a line coming across here. My capitals are above, my lowercase, as you would be writing, are on the line, and for the long pieces they come down. Um, if I was doing a T, it would be above. So you, you'd have, imagine two lines there, would keep um, your lettering nice and level. Now when you're practicing, you, you can um, put something there, so I could put another tile there, and that will help me to pipe a straight line, or a piece of greaseproof paper, just place that on the cake, that would work nicely. If I haven't got much room, I could make my lettering narrower and longer oops don't know what i'm doing i'm doing a p instead of an a and back to front as well can you see how it's easy it is to take it off if you make a mistake so i could make my lettering a little bit narrower than the one above but without making it look wrong. So you can see that doesn't take up as much space as that one. Um, what you then do is overpipe it. So with the number one tube, you pipe on top, as close to the top as you can. And don't be tempted to drag your tube, you lift it as you're piping. If you have somebody who has impaired vision, then you'd need to make it nice and clear and very, quite large so they can see it. Um, or perhaps um, a bright colour so that it stands out a little bit better for them. So you anchor and you lift. Place it on. 
So you can see that is now standing out a little bit more because I've got that colour on top. So remembering the number two is the same colour as the cake. What else can I I'll give you as a tip? When you you come to pipe, don't be tempted to overlap. So if, for example, you like quite um, script writing, when you do the Y, what you wouldn't do is overlap it like that. Because when you come to overpipe it, you would then overlap that one, and it doesn't look as neat. Just, just try not to do that. What I could do is letter Y, and I could bring it round perhaps. So that one would be a lot better than that one because of this overlapping. Um, writing is a very important part of the cake. And what you wouldn't want to do is to do a lovely spray of flowers and then up in the corner, put your writing because it'll look like you've forgotten about it. Your writing needs to be quite prominent and in a place where um, everybody can see it. And you can see that I'm piping a line, stopping and a curve. What you should never do, and I'll get, sorry, I'll go back to this one, is some people go down and up and round for letter R. You would never do that, it looks messy. What you do do is you come down, stop, you go back to the top for your R. O is a difficult one to pipe. Okay, so you anchor, you lift, you can see how high I'm taking it and bring it down. So you, it's almost breaking the, the, the letter in itself up as well as the word. So it's a straight line. P's are difficult and B's, you start lower, you come up higher and round. Usually you have the first word as a capital on a cake because it helps it stand out. You can see each curve and I'll stop and then produce and then that one's over point. If you find that your line is a little bit crooked or it's sticking up, then use your paintbrush to neaten it up. You can create your own style after practicing. You can create your own style, but as long as you stick to the basic rules, no overlapping, um, making sure that the letters are the same size, you can practice your own style. Okay.